Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the video. Here today, I'm going to show you how to take an already edited soundbite and convert it so that you can use it in your PS3 as the boot up sound. Now, the soundbite needs to be seven seconds, no more than seven and a half seconds in length. If you make it any longer than that, honestly, it's going to just cut off on you when, you, uh, PS, when your PS3 boots up and then you may get some clipping which means that after the boot up image uh, goes away and the XMB starts to load, you might hear um, for a split second um, some weird sounds or a weird um, glitchy kind of clippy noise. And uh, yeah, to me it's kind of annoying. So as long as you keep the sound bite at around seven and a half seconds or less, you should be fine. All right, so I didn't know how to approach this video because I didn't know if I should like show you guys how to use the program I use or whatever, but there's so many out there. And um, the program I use is Odyssey, which has been around for a long time. It's free and um, it, it can do a lot. It actually can rival some of the expensive uh, paid software programs that are out there. So there's a million and one videos that are really good at teaching you everything about Odyssey. So I can sit here forever, but if I did, I may not even be covering what you needed to do with your song. So, and you can even use an app that you might have on your phone or tablet that's used to make ringtones. You can use that. Basically, in the end, you want to end up with an edited bit that is an MP3 format, uh, or WMA format, maybe ACC, any of the top three or four uh, audio formats will work and preferably mp3 um, but it doesn't matter because we're going to convert that audio format anyway so um, as long as the program that we have here recognizes that you should be okay what I'm going to do is here is the um, here is the sound the mp3 uh, track from the video I'm going to put it in Odyssey All right, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is, it's about four minutes long, but I'm going to cut and paste and do all of that stuff, and then I'll be back and show you what to do with the edited um, file to get it into your PS3. Okay, so now I finished with the file. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and uh, as you can see, it's about seven and a half seconds long. I'm going to go to File. Um, we're going to go to Export Audio. Make sure it says MP3 here. I'm going to rename this sample MP3. I'm going to make sure it says bitrate constant. And then I picked 160 kbps because that's what it, that's what the file was. If your file is, you know, 256 kbps, then you should pick 256 here. Um, but in reality, it doesn't matter too much. Just as long as it's like 128 or higher. If it's 128, don't pick like 320. It's not going to get any better. If it's 128, make it 128. If it's 160, make it 160. Then pick joint stereo. And then what we're going to do is we are going to um, make a folder. All right. So on my desktop, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to click the icon here. And actually, you could do this ahead of time. I'm going to call it Mario versus PS. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to go into that one, and then I'll just save it there. And just hit OK here. All right, now we're going to go ahead and close it. Now we're not going to save the changes. All right, so here's my Mario versus PS. Now, um, there's going to be four files in the description. There's the Odyssey file, and then there's one called Lane version 3.99, whatever. That Lane is for um, Odyssey to understand, I guess, or be able to encode MP3s. So if you're going to use Odyssey, make sure you, after you install Odyssey, install that file and then open up Odyssey and run it uh, after you install the lame file. If you're not going to use Odyssey, you don't need to install Odyssey and you don't need to install the lame. But you will need to install the XVID D4 PSP file. And then after you install that, don't even open it. After you install it, then install the AV synth uh, file. Once that installs, then you can go ahead and you can open up XVID uh, D4PSP. 
All right, so let's go ahead and open it. So remember, you will for sure need the XVID and the AV synth file. So install the XVID for PSP first and then the AV synth. And then you can open up the XVID for PSP. All right, so make sure the top one says audio. This one should say disable, disable, disable. And the last one should say AC3 640. Let's go ahead and what we're going to do here is we're going to go into this new folder that you made and we're going to make another folder. We're going to call this one boot up sounds. Now you don't have to call it this, but those of you who watch my video, uh, my last video with the boot up sounds collection, you're going to see here I'm doing a pattern. It's following the same uh, kind of structure as all those other folders and the way the sounds and stuff are set up. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let's click open and go to desktop and find your Mario vs. PS. All right, and there we go. And here's the sample that we did. So let's double click it. And let's play it. Mario! Oh shit, it's Kratos! Fuck you, Kratos! You PlayStation characters never learn! <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to make a cold boot image that shows like Kratos and some PlayStation characters against like Mario and some Nintendo characters. Uh, so anyway, that's good. What we're going to do is hit encode. And now we can leave this named sample uh, AC3. We'll, we'll leave it just like that. Let's go into the boot up sounds folder that we created and save it there. All right, and then this window will pop up when it's finished. Let's hit close and we can close this. Let's uh, close that. Let's go into the Mario versus PS folder and here in the boot up sounds there's the sample.ac3 we're going to rename this cold boot underscore multi all right and now we're going to hit copy and we're going to paste and now the copied one we're going to rename that cold boot underscore stereo so we'll leave the underscore there and call it stereo boom now these are the two files that are going to make the sound of your ps that when it boots up if you watched my last video you know exactly where these two files go you can actually stick this whole entire folder that you created along with the other sound folders in that boot up sounds folder that we made uh, uh, in the last video so at this point, if you know where these files go, you really don't need to watch the video anymore. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you who want to see how to install them, we'll continue from here. If you're going to FTP, go into the Rebug Toolbox uh, before you start your FTP program. And then once you're in the Rebug Toolbox, start your, FT, uh, your FTP program. And you will see a directory called Dev Rebug. So you're going to go into that one. For everybody else, I'm going to show you how to do this via Multiman. Take this whole entire folder, put it on a USB flash drive, stick it in your PS, and I'll meet you at Multiman. Okay, guys, so here we are at uh, Multiman. And uh, in case I didn't mention it before, make sure you take that whole folder, put it onto a USB flash drive, and then put your USB flash drive in here. If you're FTP, uh, you can be able to follow along here in a second. Um, so once you've done that, we already know what the sound sounds like because you had it on your PC. So there's no need to sample it or anything. What we're going to do is go over to right access to dev flash, which is in the second column, uh, the settings column in Multiman. We're going to enable it. Let's go over into the file manager. We're going to go up here to PS3 root, double press X. Right arrow moves, uh, the right thumbstick moves the arrow, left thumbstick moves these windows. Okay. We're going to go into the USB, double press X, and there is the Mario versus PS folder. So we're going to press X one time only, hit circle, copy is already highlighted, press X. Now we're going to open up another window up here, PS3 root, and we're going to go to dev HDD0. Okay, and if you watch my video before, some of you will already have this folder here. If not, watch that video. I'll put a link in the description. This has a bunch of custom sounds, okay? I have my like personal stash of things here, but you're not gonna have this one. You should have this one already, so let's, do, let's use that one. So let's go into it, 
and then let's go up here to anywhere in this top white bar press circle paste is already highlighted press X and hit yes hit yes again right now I already had the folder in there it was just asking me if I want to override it, and I hit yes yours is probably not going to say that because you didn't have it in there so uh, here it is it says Mario versus PS if you look at it there's the sample and here's the boot up sounds okay the files that we need if you look at the other files let's just pick this one you'll notice see it has the same thing boot up sounds sample mp3 so you have the same format so let's go ahead now and let's go to Mario vs. PS let's go into the boot up sounds folder press X one time press X one time on this one so they're both highlighted hit circle and copy is already highlighted press X now we can just go and hit left on the d-pad hit it a couple times one more time and then one more time and dev blind will be here if you're using FTP and you're in the rebug toolbox you also say dev rebug so go into that here we'll go into dev blind and then it'll be the same for everybody from this point on go into VSH go into resource and here's where all your cold boot stuff is down on the d-pad by the way scrolls up and down here are the here's the multi and the stereo file so let's go up to the top here hit circle we're gonna press X to paste and hit yes alright and that's it now we can close we change the sound we can close out the windows if you're in rebug uh, using the rebug toolbox go to the first column press restart system or system restart and then do uh, pick full reboot and do a full reboot here we're gonna go to games we're gonna go over to the second column and we're going to disable right to dev flash and then we're gonna go to restart system and it'll do a full reboot so let's see what happens it's Kratos Fuck you, Kratos! You PlayStation characters never learn! Alright, so that wasn't too bad. The Kratos part got cut out, but that's because there's a delay in Elgato. So it cut out the split second where Kratos actually said something. So, But on, on, on my TV, when I don't have um, the Elgato hooked up, it's going to play that, that first second. So... That's it. That's all that you need to do. So in the next video, I'll show you how to do the boot up image. I'm going to make an image to go with that sound. I'll think of something. So anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see.